Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about 31 different altcoins today. I'm going to go through the list of the altcoins that we're talking about. I will then pause the music. We'll get into this, and I'll give shout-outs along the way. So without any more dillying of the dally, let's get into this. All right, so talking about DGB, Zillica, Gummy, AMP, Bonk, WTK, LPT, T-Fuel, Jones, but like Jow, N-E-S, J-O-W-N-E-S, Dot, Boba, Ondo, P-R-O-P-Y, Goldfinch, N-X-R-A, Turbo, Sleepless AI, Kitsuna, Sutter, uh, or S-U-T-E-R, Swiftcoin, Spell, Ethereum Classic, Moon River, Celestia, TRB, Apecoin, Filecoin, XEM. Actually, we're not going to talk about Filecoin in this one. We'll talk about it in another one. XEM, Pika, and CTX. So that'll be 30 coins, actually, 30 coins. Um, that's the list. Let's get into it. We're going to start it off with Digibyte for Media Idea or Media Aldea. I don't know. I think it's perhaps it's Media Aldea. Um, we're going to talk about that for you. Let's pause the music and get into this here. So. <clears throat> Looking at Digibyte on a monthly basis, I don't mind the RSI, I don't mind the price structure, it looks nice. Um, I like what you're doing on a weekly basis, weekly RSI looks fine as well. You broke out of this accumulation phase, you're back testing the area that you broke out from for support, it all looks good to me. You just need to hold this area. I would like to see you hold this area. You would like to see you hold this area, so do it, just do it. Bounce right off the 618, beautiful. Keep going, don't, don't reject here, keep going. Um, daily RSI could look good. It could look good if you continue, but it could also look bad if you don't. So just keep going, keep going up, man. That's all I gotta say, really. Break this structure, break this, you're, you're, you're at the part where if you were to break out, you would do it here, so do it. If not, you will see a lower low, and that could come in at a minimum of just below a cent there, potentially down to 0.78 cents or even 0.68 cents or lower. So hold it here, hold the line. It's not ideal to break back into your accumulation zone after breaking out of it. So hold it here, go up. That's really all I have to say. It's hard, hard to say, but you're at the point right now where it, it matters and you look like you want to do it. So time will tell, but let's, let's see you do it. Let's see you go. Yeah. The Binance chart is weird for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. I've got faith. I've got faith that it can. So look for a move probably up to about 1.3, 1.4 cents. That's my thoughts on Digibyte. Let's talk about Zillica now. For the same requester, media dea, media aldea, um, not on Bitrex, perhaps Binance, yes. Ah, I just I hate the way those candles look. Bullish divergence, double bottom, not a bad look. Weekly looking fine as well. I actually do like the RSI a lot. If it would let me double click, yeah, I don't mind that. You could go lower, but I don't mind it. You're in this kind of accumulation phase itself you haven't broken out of, right? You're just looking to go up. Nice double bottom here. I bet you do. I bet you found your low. Um, if not, you know, maybe go a little bit lower, but I, I'm, I would feel pretty safe that Zillica's found its low, probably. So high to low here. The next area that I would look for you to go would probably be $0.03 cents to $0.3, $0.5, cents, somewhere in that area. That's that's my thoughts. Three to three and a half cents. Let's just call it there. So that's Zillica. Um, Gummy might have to. No, we got it here. I was about to say might have to use it on a uh, Dex screener. Perhaps I will. Let's see. Gummy, gummy, gummy on Solana. Fifteen days old. So no, we can use this. I think. I think this is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's fine. Um, too new to say, Flower Child. This one's at the request of Flower Child, by the way. Too new to say. You're holding your six one eight, but that could break. It could hold a support. You really don't know. Um, I will say the four hour RSI gives me hope. It looks pretty good, actually. The one hour looks fine too, so you might break this to the upside. I don't feel confident in any predict in any prediction though, so I would say if you break to the upside, look for prices to go, you know, anywhere from 15 cents to 18 cents, maybe higher. 
you could be moving up to new all-time highs, in which case I don't know if it's proper to take a fib from this high to this low, but if it is, potentially 30 cents to 43 cents, you're at 11.6 cents now. However, if you drop, you could see a move that takes you down to about half the price you're at now and potentially lower than that. So it's really hard to say. I will say that the uh, RSI looks in your favor. In my opinion, it looks like it's in your favor um, across all the shorter term time frames. So just keep keep holding this ascending trend line, you know, keep doing that. That's really all I can say. You look like you're at a place where you're, you're about to break out. So be prepared. It's probably going to happen, you know, over the next couple days, if not today. Um, you'll have you'll have your heading when you get a move with volume, right? Volumes died off. You're about to get your move. <clears throat> um, that's gummy. Amp for unlawful law. Looking at this on the weekly here, I believe this is the right one, right? Amp. I think I would assume this is it. Weekly looks nice. I really do like the weekly a lot, actually. It's a beautiful looking RSI. You probably are going to move. You're probably going to see a move, a breakout move up soon. Actually, I think that's your low. You had that about four weeks ago. You're probably going to move up to two to three point three cents. Two point two to three point three cents. That's that's your next move. It's going to happen soon. Um, soon could be in two months. You know, it could be in could be in two weeks. It could be two, two days from now. I don't know, but you're probably going to see a quick move either like this week or you know something like this where it just it, it might take two months to achieve, but you're going to move up here soon. You're, you're probably, that's your next move. And I, I would expect that it happens probably before, uh, before August is what I would think probably before August, but it could happen before June. Like it really could. Um, but looking good. I think you're looking good amp. I like you on the daily. Come on now. Why is it doing that? That's so weird. There we go. Yeah, the daily looks fine. Four hour, eh, four hour kind of looks a little funky. I think you look fine though, man. Yeah, amp. Um, bonk is the next one. Good old bonk. Having some recovery. Maybe we should talk about it on here. <clears throat> Which one has the most volume? This one. Maybe this one. It's the same. Let's just do, well, that's only seven days, though. Let's do this one, then. Bonk, bonk. Yep, that's the right one. Got the mess left on the chart. Okay. So yeah, Bonk looks like it wants to move up too. You're consolidating. You've been consolidating for a while. I doubt you go below this low. You might be moving lower immediately. Perhaps you do. Perhaps you move a little bit lower immediately. Um, but I don't think you'll go below that low. If you were to go lower, perhaps you go down to about, what is that? Four zeros, two, one, three. Maybe four zeros, two, two, somewhere in that area. Two, three. Um, but you might just move up higher too, more immediately. Four hour looks fine, daily looks fine. I mean, yeah, you're looking you're looking like you're just gonna consolidate. I'd feel most confident about saying if you move lower, it's gonna be a higher low. If you move higher, it won't be by much, but eventually soon you're gonna see a nice breakout bonk. Bonk, you guys, if bonk does well, that could bring it back for some meme coins because this is one of the top contenders for meme coins this cycle. So I don't know, bonk might be moving up to four zero six three five. You're at four zeros two six seven right now. It could be moving up to four zeros, nine, and even the land of the three zeros, but time will tell. But I think that's what's in store um, over the coming weeks, over the coming months for Bonk. Uh, that was also for Unlawful Law. Next, we're going to talk about WTK for the Unleavened Baptist. WTK finally doing bullish things. I told you, man. I told you. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Hell yeah. Unleavened Baptist. Good job. Anybody holding WTK, good job, guys. Um, probably a good time to sell. <laughs> it's probably a, you know, I'm, I'm not, not financial advice. No, this is financial advice, but uh, I don't know. If you were hypothetically trading bonk, that's 
great area to sell, great area to sell, great area to sell. I don't know. It just, it looks too obvious, you know? So maybe, maybe that is too obvious. Maybe it goes up all the way up here to 52 cents before it's done. Maybe all those thoughts running through your bullish, greedy minds if you're holding on to this thing and you just pumped up 134%. You love this thing. Why would you let it go? It's when you love it the most that you normally should let it go. Um, you look at the weekly RSI, you're the hottest you've ever been, and you're deep, man. You're in the 86, 87 area. Daily RSI is hot too, sitting in 92. Even if you do move up, I mean, you could move up a lot in a short amount of time. You really could. You're at the right areas to do it. But will you? You know, so A move like that with that low volume, that might be OTC. That might be other exchanges trying to buy you, man. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more volume. But also having no volume isn't normally good. That and generally speaking, I mean look at what happened here, right? If we look at we look at what happened the last time you had a high, you gave most of it back in one week alone. Slowly gave all of it back again, right? But you know, pretty big drops. So I don't know. If I was holding this thing, I'd feel pretty comfortable letting it go here. In fact, I want to make this video quicker so that that message can get out. So I'm actually gonna write right now on Discord. And again, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But I am about to write the Unleavened Baptist and tell him I think it's a good time to sell. Not financial advice, but my genuine opinion. At any rate, it's not a good time to buy. Yeah, that much probably is financial advice. Not not a good time to buy because I mean buying at you know, 130% growth after a week is probably not a good time. The good time to buy was last week, two weeks ago. You know. Um, anyways, WTK probably moves down from here. It will probably likely move all the way back down to four and a half. So you're going to see a greater than 50% drop probably from here. At least a 40% drop is what I would expect. But that's WTK. Let's talk about LPT for Cryo C. I believe that's Mr. Liesel as well. Um, live peer token on Coinbase here. Looking bullish. I like it. I like this area for a low. I like it. I really do. Weekly RSI, daily RSI looks good. They both look good. I love it. Okay, cool. So you're moving up, probably moving up. Look at that, let's draw a line. Let's just put a line right there at the low. Look at that. Holding these resistance points here, here, here. The disrespect over here, whatever. But still, you, you've definitely, it. look at that. Support on this line, resistance under it. Like you're actually, you've tipped a very respected line. And I wonder if we take the low to the high. Look at that, right at your 0.52, that's crazy. All right, so. Um, yeah, you're probably moving up. I would think inevitably you're moving up to 36 to $53. That'll be your next pit stop, potentially higher than that. If we take this relative high to low here, you hit your 2618, but this, this was a smaller move versus this one's bigger. So let's, let's say 37 to $53 is probably where you're going. You're at 1490 now. So yeah, looking good life here, looking like you want some upside that can happen over the coming months, coming weeks, who knows, but I would say before August as well, maybe even before July. It could be by the end of this month. I really don't know. Time is not my strong suit. If you don't believe me, just stick around and watch. I will call the price moves, but it'll happen earlier or later <laughs> than I call them. Um, time is the hard part, right? Anybody can name a price. It's when. That's, that's tricky. It's pretty tricky. Sometimes the day-to-day -day stuff, like you can catch a move as it's happening. That's what like with WTK, I think this move that's coming down, I think that's happening now. Like this is the best time to sell. That's why I specifically wrote a message. Um, and for anybody else who's in WTK, you know, do, do what you want. But genuinely speaking, I think it's a good time to get out if you're looking to play the short game. If you're looking to invest, then just wait. Wait for a lower opportunity and then DCA more into it. You don't, you know, I, I would expect WTK does go up more over the cycle, um, but it's just at a relative high point. That's that's all. I don't think I don't think it's a good time to sell all your bags if you're looking to invest and hold for the long term. Um, but yeah, let me say. Let me see here. I just want to say, unless you want to hold and DCA for the long term, 
but do what you want. Not financial advice. <laughs> Got to be careful with that, right? I don't think I do, but I just, you know, I like to be clear because I'm not a financial advisor. People have called me all kinds of things, you know, insults or kind words, whatever. Some people have called me a uh, an expert, right? I'm not an expert. I am not a financial advisor. I'm none of those things. I'm literally just in my living room at my house doing technical analysis. I've been doing this for seven years. I'm not just some random, you know, jack wagon on here throwing random numbers up there and blowing smoke up your ass. I do have a point of experience and knowledge whenever it comes to technical uh, analytics, but I'm, not, I'm definitely not an expert, and I definitely can be wrong and will be wrong, and at no, no point have I ever claimed to be anything that I'm not. I'm definitely not a financial advisor. So anyways, enough of that, man. Spent way too much time going over stuff that really is not that important. Um, let's see. LPT. Looking like it wants to go up. T Fuel is the next one, also for CryoC. T fuel, theta fuel, also looking like it wants to move up. I think so, yeah. You're getting near a local high point, but I think you want to have one more run up in you. Yeah, I think so. I think you're going to break out of this uh, consolidation phase to the upside. And then you probably consolidate for longer than this or Maybe you run for a while. I don't know. Let's let's see. But yep, twenty to twenty six cents. You're at ten point seven, ten point eight cents now. So twenty to twenty six cents is where you're going. T fuel. Jones, like Alex Jones. Um, hopefully, I don't get doxed because of that. Alex. Um. You know, you got to be careful what words you're saying for the software that shall not be named um anyways let's see too new to say it reminds me a lot of uh which one was it gummy it reminds me a lot of gummy so um i don't know i'll give it to you that i'm bullish on it until i'm not it it's technically a neutral pattern but in a bullish move up which it's so new it's really hard to say but I would think you probably do move up, probably. And if I was to guess as to where you could move, you know, that would range between 1.4 cents to potentially 2.66 cents, maybe even higher. But let's start with 1.4 to 2.66. Anyways, that's Jones. Um, dot, and that was at the request of Celos. Dot for Teresa and boba for Teresa. Um, looking at the weekly here, broke out of your accumulation phase, holding support. You look like you're doing good, Dot. You did what you needed to do. Bullish engulfing candle, love to see it. Um, you look like you did what you need to do. I think I think there's hope that that was the lows for Dot. Looks like a double bottom. It reminds me of, what chart was it? Was it, uh, was it AMP? Was it Zillica? It might have been Zillica. Let me, let me just type that in. Yeah, it was Zillica. Okay, yeah, it reminds me a lot of that. So probably does move up from here. Let's look at the daily. Daily RSI looks fine. I got no problems with it. Yeah, I think I think you do. I think you held the line exactly where you needed to. You did great. Good job, Dot. I feel like that was the last last time I talked about it. I wasn't too hopeful, um, but you did the you did the thing, man. Now all you need to do is get above seven dollars and fifty cents. Seven dollars fifty one cents. Get above there. Get above there. Stay above there, and don't come back. Just keep going. Um, that's what I would say for you. Right. If I'm a doctor, I'm writing you a prescription, I would say stay off of the $5.65 area and break through, get a healthy daily dosage of prices above $7.51 is what I would say. You break above that, that solidifies that that's your low and would also solidify that you're going to move higher than this and at which case, again, $7.51 is the area you want to break, not just tip, not just slightly move above it, you want to break $7.51 and that would give you a green light to $14. 50 about there and 1850 about there that'd be your next stop you're at 727 now so dot looking prosperous looking good i love to see it um though i hear bad things about the dot people hold on one second you guys
All right, everybody, I'm back. Sorry, I had to. Sorry, not sorry, you know. Um, yeah, boba. Boba's what we're on for Teresa as well. Looking like you're bullish as well. Probably a good area to get in. You could go lower, but I like where you're at price-wise. Not fib-wise, but I like where you're at nonetheless. You you could you could move lower. You might. I'm less convinced that you found your low than I am on a lot of these other ones. Yeah, you might you might go lower. In which case, you know, that 618 down there at about 27 cents looks ripe. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, I'm I'm not not too bullish on this one. Probably down, let's say 27 cents or thereabouts. If not 27 cents, maybe 30 cents. We got 38.7 cents now, so down, down for boba. Um, Ondo for let's go, let's go go. Ondo finance. I feel like the only thing I know about Ondo is every YouTuber that talks about it seems to want to take credit that they're the first ones to talk about it. I'm going to take credit and say I'm the last one to talk about it. So, can't steal that. Um, low to high. 382 holding support there. Looks nice. Cold, holding above the 236 for, for the time being. I like the daily RSI. It's neutral, but it's fine. Yeah, you probably move up, Ondo. You probably do. You're moving sideways for now. How long do you move sideways? I don't know. Probably not too long. I would think a dollar twenty-one to a dollar forty-six is on your horizons in the near term. Yeah, I bet you break out to the upside. I bet you do. Yep. And what was it? A dollar twenty-one to a dollar forty-six. That's the projected outcome. So, good job, Ondo. Prop B. Prop B. Prop B Pro on HTX. Also for let's go high to low, I don't know. It's too new to say. I think it goes lower. I think a dollar seventy four is where you're gonna go. I could be wrong. It's a new token, but that's that's my best guess. Gold Finch, GFI. That's right. Hmm. Also not the best look. That could be a low, but I'm not convinced yet. With the way you are now, depending on how you reject this, if you close below your 382 at $3.63, if you close below there on a daily basis, not wick below there, but break through it and close below there, not by a cent, but by by a decent bit where you actually break it. Like if you if you close like this, I'm not worried about it. A little bit, but not really. If you close in the space, or actually like well, well below it, but in the space below there, you know, um, I would think you see these extensions. So the question at hand is, is this the low? If not, two twenty-five to a dollar eighty-five, two dollars twenty-five cents to a dollar eighty-five cents, and or lower is on the table. If it is the low, I would still expect prices around three sixty, three seventy are coming your way. I would expect that. So hard to say. Definitely hard to say. We need to see more. Either way, I would expect you to turn around from here for the time being. Yes. Yes, I would. It's a nice looking four hour RSI. It's the best part about the chart, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and you don't pull back. And that would actually be a really good thing if you didn't pull. It wouldn't be a really good thing, but it would, it would be, it would be. It'd be a really good thing. It'd be a really good thing if you kept going and you didn't pull back from here. If you can close above the 618, that actually be a testament of strength. So if today, if you can get above there, close above 444, then I'm not as worried about you. But right now I'm worried that you could close below this yellow line at 365 if you do 363 um if you do all hell breaks loose well not all hell but you know you move lower that's all 221 to 180 something like that right anyways that's my predictions for goldfinch i think you are going to move down but if i'm wrong all you got to do is get above four dollars 44.4 cents and stay above there that's all you got to do you get above 560 and it's over it's over to the, you know, for, for the downside, it's over going up. You're, you're moving up to 777, 1045 or higher. Um, hard to determine, but I'm going to say lower for now, for GFI, lower. 
at least down to around 365 was it 363 at least around there if not much lower than you're at now GFI and NXRA never heard of this one I don't mind the daily RSI I'm not enticed by it though you could go lower from here it's an odd looking chart it's very new the weekly RSI it looks sad but it also looks like it's in a good area to bounce if not a little bit lower potentially perhaps you do perhaps you move down to like 11.3 cents you're at 13.1 cent now perhaps you do yeah maybe you do I don't know perhaps a little bit lower and then up just a little bit lower though below that low 11 Point three cents. You're at 13.1 now. Something like that. NXRA. Let's talk about Turbo. And that's the last one for uh, Let's Go. Looking like it wants to go down as well. Turbo is slowing down. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm thinking 3 zeros 3. 3 zeros 27, 3 zeros 33, three, somewhere in between there. 3 zeros 27 to 3 zeros 33, three, somewhere in that area. Best hope is 3 zeros 4 holds, but I doubt it does. That's my thoughts. Yeah, I'm not bullish on that. No, I th yeah, I think you I think you go lower from here. So that's that's turbo. Uh, let's talk about sleepless. Damn it. Whoever requested Sleepless AI, I did not write your name down. So I apologize. No shout out for you, but you'll be, we'll call you Satoshi. Satoshi Nakamoto requested this one, you guys. Um, Is this the right one to use? Looks like it. Okay, so we'll just we'll use it. Screw it. Too new of a chart to have a very determined outcome, but I would think you're good for a dollar fifty to a dollar sixty-five somewhere in that area. You're at a dollar seventeen right now. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what you want to do. Easy peasy. Uh, a dollar fifty-two to a dollar sixty-five somewhere in that area. That's what I'm thinking. Um, Kizuna, Kizuna, looking a little bit bearish, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. So sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro, you're probably moving lower. I think so. We'll see you down at this level. However many zeros, let's call it eight zeros. I don't know how many zeros it is, but eight zeros, two eight. The same amount of zeros you have now, just at the twos, two, eight, six, seven level. I think you're moving down, absolutely. You look terrible. No reason to believe you're moving up. None. Down you go. Looks sad. Um, Suter or Sutter for WS, and that was for Matt Mac. Uh, WS99's got this one though. On KuCoin, sure. Interesting chart. Came down a lot. Now you're accumulating. Volume's picking up. I love to see it. Weekly RSI is odd, but more bullish than bearish, I suppose. Accumulation phase. You'll be accumulating really until you break above this line, until you break above three zeros, nine, five, nine. You'll be accumulating. Coincidentally, that coincides with your green line too. So break above it, man. Get up there. And then once you do, you're probably going to see some fireworks. You're probably going to go right up to at least this area. All right? Resistance points all along. And then, I don't know, you kind of have a central point here, kind of roughly, maybe not. Up there looks a little bit good too. I don't know. You'd be good. Once you break above 30959, you're good to like 0 0.0023, 0 0.005, even up to about a cent. That's your playground, man. 
So uh, essentially for this thing, you're, you're consolidating, you're accumulating until you're not, and you'll know you're not when you break above three zeros, nine, five, nine. When you break above there, it's on. You're finally not consolidating anymore. You're, you're looking like you're gonna wanna move up, but until then, boring, sideways, that's, that's the best that I can assume for this thing. You probably move up from here, but do you move up and break out from here? I don't know. It could, it could be months until you break out. I, I don't know. So I'm, I'm gonna go with boring. You're probably gonna be boring. Swift coin, Swift C, our new favorite coin to talk about. Um, this might be a good one to get in, you guys. It's It honestly might be. We're looking at it on the chart, maybe OKX, right? That has the most historical data. Yeah. I still think it moves lower. I still do. Yeah, I think so. Um, not impressed. Nope. Higher high in the daily RSI, lower highs in the price, consolidating lower highs overall, lower lows. Look like you're going to form a lower low with this hidden bearish divergence. I think so. Rejecting the 60 area. Yeah. You're likely going to move down to 0 0.00. 0.0033 and potentially lower down to 0 0.0027 even 0 0.0022 do those lines make sense let's see if they do So this line to me makes a little bit of sense based off of this wick here, wick here. This line here looks like you found resistance on it a lot, that uh, 0.0027 area. I would say the area of like breakout, the area that you'd want to focus on is probably that 0.003 to 0.0037. So I would think you hold that 0.0033 to 0.0037, but if not, 0.0027 is probably where you're going next. I would doubt you go lower than that. So. This area, lower, is what I would expect. You take the relative low here to the relative high, and that comes in line just below your 382. It makes sense. Yeah. Yep, 0 0.0037 to 0 0.0033 in that area. You're at 0 0.0049 now, so lower and then up. I, I have high hopes for the potential of SwiftCoin. I really do, I really do think it has, uh, even from its current price, a multi-100x potential this cycle. So it's... It might be worth looking into, guys, but um, I do believe also there is a lot of hype around this. And while hype can be a good thing, it can also mislead you. So just do your own research, look into it, see if it's worth your time. And if it is, it's probably a good time to get into it now, into DCA even now, not financial advice. But uh, if not, I think over the weeks to come, there will be even lower prices, better prices to get into if you're just patient. But never hurts the DCA. It's a good time, I think, to DCA even for what it is now. Um, I just want to explain real quick, actually, before we move on, the importance of breaking above this line here, right? You've done it twice. Right? You wicked above it a couple times here, but once you broke above it, gave it right back. Once you broke above it, essentially gave it right back in the months to come. If you can break above this and hold this line for your first time ever, um, that would speak volumes to the new potential grounds that you're gonna gain this cycle, right? If you do this, this cycle, you do something you've never done before, hold support on this line instead of break back below it and find resistance on it. If you can do that and show the strongest readings you've seen on your RSI consistently for months now, if you can continue to do all these things, and I think you can, I, th I think that will promise greatness for this coin as far as uh, price growth goes. I really do think this is your cycle to shine. Um, just stay above that line. If you go below it, wick, wick below it, like you did when you wicked above it here. You still got held down, wick below it. That's okay. You'll still get held up, but just don't break through it, okay? Um, SwiftCoin, doing things differently. That is for jackpot junkies. We're also talking about spell for jackpot junkies. Spell token. Spell token looking looking bullish, looking kind of bullish. I like the weekly. Dude, that weekly RSI looks nice. It's very nice. Hell of a drop down to your 618, finding resistance at your 382, yet finding support on your 0 0.5. Conflicting. Very conflicting. I like it, and I don't like it. 
I like it because you're resilient. I don't like it because you're not giving me enough to think, are you going lower or are you going higher? It's hard to say. The daily RSI is still bearish as far as I'm concerned, which would lead me to believe that you're going to go lower. You're holding this as resistance, this green line. You don't really respect it anyways, though, so who am I to say if you respect it now? I think you go lower. I think you're very near your low, but I think you go lower. You might be doing one of these double bottoms like a lot of these cryptos have, or potentially you might go into this range itself and form a slightly lower low, or perhaps you go to your 786, 886. So I do want to say, and yes, all of those numbers are possible. I do want to say anywhere from 0.000, three zeros, four one, to point three zeros, six five, six five five. Those price areas are on the table. And as far as which one you're going to, I'm not confident on any of them. You very well could form a higher low, but at any rate, I would expect you do go lower from here. And truthfully, I would expect that you do. I don't normally look for double bottoms. You could see it, but I don't normally call for them, but it, it could happen. But I would more look for that 3058 to 3005 area personally. But what do I know? Any, anything could happen. It really could just break out to the upside now, but not enough to think that. So I'm going to stick with the prevailing trend for the time being, which is down. Um, that's spell. Let's talk now about Ethereum Classic for Alikram. 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 Um, Ether Classic. Also looking like it wants to go down. Not impressed. One more leg down. Just one more. Probably see you down at... If I can get it, see you down at $21 to $19, somewhere around there is what I would think. Maybe. Yeah, $21 to $19. I like it. Probably down a little bit. That's my thoughts for ETC. Um, Moon River. For Adrian FU1 of Mover, that's what it is. Mover on Kraken, sure. Yeah, we'll do it on Kraken. Low to high, looks like a good area to buy. It could go lower first. You could see prices down at 780 to 945, somewhere around there first. Hard to say. That really, that, that could have been your low. It's not a, a, an expected area, but I mean, it, it could be, it could be your low. I don't mind the four hour RSI, but so what? I don't mind the daily RSI either. That's, that's good. Weekly RSI, you know, take it or leave it, whatever. I don't know, get above 1715. If you can get above 1715 and stay above there, I have hopes. If not, See you at 9.45 to 7.87, around there. That's mover. Um, let's talk about Tia Celestia for Mohamed El Mensi. Celestia, you guys, is one of those coins that's actually performed very well against Bitcoin over the past, you know, since its inception here. Um, it makes sense with a chart like that. Let's see, Kraken. We'll just use good old Coinbase. All right. So looking at the weekly, I don't know what to make of the RSI. Looking at the price action, I don't know what to make of it either. Do I take this low to the high? I mean, there's no, even if it were to be respected, like there's not enough data. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. So let's look at the daily. Daily RSI looks sad. I would expect you continue moving down from here, probably. I do feel comfortable at least taking a low from here to there. That looks good. That looks pretty respected. Okay, I like to see that. Yeah. Looks nice. Looks pretty nice, actually. But you could go lower. I think you will go lower. So probably down to your 786, 886. Let's talk about 590 to 680, somewhere in that area. It's probably where you're going to go. Look at that 680 area. It's probably that that very well could be where you go. Let's see this low to high here. 660, 560, you know, maybe around there. Maybe maybe we do go lower than 680, but I don't know. Makes sense to me. Lower. Lower. Lower is what I think for Tia. 
Um, let's talk about TRB for Mr. Party Boy. TRB for you, my friend. Tell her we're going to tell you about this coin. Um, a lot of volume last week. We saw a nice move up of about, what was it, in total 58%. 58%. Um, yeah, that's probably your low. Looks kind of like a BART, so don't trust this price action right now. I mean, you, uh, times of BARTs, you, you can you can see manipulated efforts. You really can, so just be aware. I, I like it, though. I think you've broken your down structure. I, I like it. I think it's fine. Let's look. Let's see here. Yeah, moving up to 110, likely moving up to 200, 237 over the weeks, months to come. Looking good. Looking good, TRB. Um, we're also going to talk about Ape for Mr. Party Boy. Ape coin. Looking like it wants to move up from here. Looking like you found your low. So you probably do move up to about $1.60 to $1.77. Um, and then higher, probably. But that's my thoughts. You probably, you're probably going to consolidate. It's probably not time to just rip and run right now. But I, I think you found your low. I like it. Ape coin looking good. Um, we're talking about XEM. For Constantine Zela, Zelev, Constantine Zelev. We're talking about this for you, my friend. Um, or maybe it's Constantine. I don't know. I think Constantine. Constantine Zelev. That's it's a cool name. I think Constantine is a great name. Um, no disrespect to any other names out there. I myself am not a Constantine. I'm not even a Caesar man, but but here I am. Um, X E M U S D. Binance tethers, sure. Accumulation phase, you're going to be boring until you're not. You probably found your low locally, but it's probably a good time to DCA. Don't expect that you're going to pop anytime soon. Uh, it could happen in the next week or two, but it's more likely to happen a month or two or more out from here. So that's XEM. Uh, let's talk about Pika real quick for Clash. Pika on Mexi. Looks like you've probably found your low, but it's it's too new to say. It's really too new to say. I, I like it as a low. You could go lower. But let's just see how it goes. If you can get above, I mean, really, you're probably going to need to get above this point here to prove that this is your low. But... If you can get above two zeros too, that would that would excite me a little bit. But for now, hopeful that you can move higher. Let's just see you do it. You know, if you close below this day here, this low low close here at 0 0.0013, that's not going to be good. So that's Pika. Let's finish this up with CTX for M O Mo L. I'm talking about for Mo L on Coinbase. Looking great, bro. Looking great. Yeah, you're going to consolidate until you're not. You want to go higher. I if you go lower, you no, you you probably don't go lower. Yeah, I th I th I think you're consolidating. You're gonna slowly work your way up and then inevitably move up to that next level. Where would that next level be? I mean, based off of this, I would I'd pretty confidently say 863 to 1372 with a heavy emphasis on 1120. I bet you're moving up to 1120. You're at 450 now, so that's that. Uh, and again, that's for Mo L. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, as far as a winner goes, man, WTK killed it, but it's probably going to move down a lot soon. As far as a winner goes, which one? Which one really stood out? I don't know, man. Ape looks good. TRB looks good. I don't know, man. I I don't feel confident enough to give a winner for any of these. So no winner tonight, unfortunately. I would just be throwing out a name if I did, and we can't have that. So anyways, guys, that's all the coins. That's everything. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for sticking around. Take care. Bye-bye.